found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No. You won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald. Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Oh, jeez, can you believe hey, these people? Hey, how you doing? Valentina must be over the moon the about them. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't... Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Want to see the tag along? Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. What the deal is? Gates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign in with the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. Don't drink. A private tour.
tour of the estate. It's me sentimental. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what I'm... Nothing quite spoils a party like your guests okay. inexplicably dropping dead. Who were yeah. they again? A couple of old money scions. Fake a couple of spots around. come to mind. On the tour or after? I bet she did. On standby. So you're not sure? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realise the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is this? But... Nice right. gesture, but a bit of risk, wouldn't you say? Yeah, right. But if I'm going to be one honesty. of these heralds, of course, you need to start letting me in on a few things. The okay. I'm so more of a fear man life. myself, but if Yates wants to bring the heralds closer together Same. and play the modern call, I'd like to. <laughs> no, no problem. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post truth. Yeah, I like it. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. No, they were discreet about it. I caught a glimpse of a body bag. Hello there. I'm Corval Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specials ever. Hello there. You ask me, the constant must have lost his mind. Burnwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many? Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive yeah, as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes, yes it was. Hey, yo, what's up? Yeah, that's right. Stay out of here. Yeah, hey. You still love me? But it wasn't here to love me. Huh? I never liked you. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, 
I've not got any wet until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yez doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I bet I'll get my picking knife. Us up there. Hey! Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. Now, let's see. A lovely ink in black color. Good size, large and firm. Feeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Que bonito día, eh? verdad? Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are right for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a tour to conduct. Will do. Thank you. 
Ah, my fellow wine lovers. Hello. Hey. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. Oh, so, how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are possessed. We insist on distilling every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. Can you tell me about this grape crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the distilled grapes into a thick pulp or must by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipe. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. Waste of space, if you ask me. Yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So, if there's no further questions... Ah, ah yes. I just love to clean up the mess. To your colleague. Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. So let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? It's all very inspiring. I could see you retired to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates' fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, Hello which are there, made sir. from ballistic glass, 
can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Sit here, pal. I'm sorry, but you're not getting through. Flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin. Oh, hey. Are you the guy from the website? Uh, oh, no. Okay. Flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. monkey in my spare time. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Oh, men like Don Gates know the price of everything, of the value of nothing. I am sorry, Padron. Say, what if we exchanged the labels, served him a different wine? Ah, you are devious, Santino, but... If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful, I will not stand for his way. That is between him and his creator. 
How did he even get his hands on it all? I hear the lab. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting off. If you want to come through, I'm gonna need to pat you down. No one needs that much goddamn soup. Senor, you're probably used to this. Just a simple pat down, huh? Okay, you're good to go. Póngale, póngale. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss. Disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. I have always me. considered their heroes Majesty. the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is a 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long savory layers of fruit and spice flavors. 
and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet you. together, we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? He's absolutely. absolutely right. Absolutely. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. God, what the? What You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I yes. agree. Yes. 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 Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what you will all attest to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What makes you think we have the right to Remember, theory? Flowers, yes. Yes. you never saw a thing. Yes. Not a damn thing. A toast bed in the rock. Savor the cake. Here's to loyalty. Got nothing here. Yeah? I mean, what? <laughs> what? Command, we have some weird noises. I'll have a look around.
We might have a possible disturbance. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. All is cool, all is cool. Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. prepping the crime scene like we discussed remote staged accident Cortazar will bring the package get it done Miss Burnwood you rolled out the red carpet just for me Don you shouldn't have so confident even in defeat I suppose you're not used to danger always safe behind your screens just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Shit. <sighs> if it's any uh, consolation, Dawn, what are you doing, you asshole? Don't you stand!
Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs> 